Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. I'm showing my assistants a card trick. Okay, here you go. All right. So first I must gather the psychic energy. I'm seeing a card. I'm putting my prediction into an envelope. And I'm giving it to you to hold on to. So we're going to start off, I'm going to deal out 11 cards. Please choose any four cards from these. All right, I'm gonna take the rest of these. Now go ahead and flip your cards over. Place them down. All right, so we're gonna start off by doing a little bit of math. So we have three plus 10 is? 13. Plus eight? 21. Plus one? 22. 22. Two, three, four, five. Now, the key here is that 10 is a magic number. So therefore, I have to get each one of these to add up to 10. So we start off with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's already at 10. Don't need to do anything. That's 8, so 9, 10. That's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Please open up the envelope. What's your trick? A magician never reveals his secrets. I thought you said that you don't do magic, that you do science. True, and I did use the science of mathematics on this trick. And our math teacher says that mathematicians always prove their answers. Fair enough. Let's look at this a little closer. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to learn a math magical card trick. For this you'll need a deck of cards, a pen and paper, and an envelope. See if you can figure out how this works while we do it. First, have someone shuffle the cards. Now, here's the sneaky part. As you psychically scan the cards, sneak a look at the bottom card. Write that card onto a piece of paper and seal it in an envelope. The rest of the trick is all math. Deal out 11 cards face down. Have someone pick four and flip them over. Collect the other cards and put them on the bottom of the deck. Add up the total of the face up cards. Aces are worth one, face cards are worth 10. Deal out that number of cards face down. Starting with the number showing on each face up card, deal out the number of cards needed to reach a total of 10. For example, if you have a six showing, deal out four more cards. If the card is already worth 10, don't deal anything. Flip the card on top of the deck face up. It will be the card written in the envelope. Did you figure out how it works? Well, obviously the cards don't matter, so let's go back and just look at the math. We want to force the bottom card, which we know, to get to the top of the deck. I'm gonna use this oppositely colored card so you can follow it. We start with 52 cards in the deck. The first step was to deal out 11 cards. That leaves us with 41 cards, 40 on top of the card we need to get to the top of the deck. When we select the four cards and put the rest on the bottom, our card is still in the 41st position. The rest of the trick is about dealing out the 40 cards on top of our card, 10 for each of the face-up cards. You remember we added up the value of all the cards and dealt those out. That's just a diversion to what we're really doing, counting out the first half of each of the sets of 10. These total up to 24. But if I deal them out next to the face-up cards, you'll see what I mean. The next step is to finish the 10 of each face-up card. The face-up card tells us how many we already dealt out. By adding in the rest of the group, we get 10 for each line. So we had 40 cards on top, and we dealt out 10, 20, 30, 40 cards. So the next card we flip over is our card. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.